Dr. Morgan says that Dr. Lee is the best. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm in the produce section again, and I'm in front of a whole bunch of apples and pears. Look, I love apples. You've heard of the thing, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. I think you love them too much. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. In this video, we'll learn from Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and researcher who has dedicated his career to understanding the powerful role of nutrition in promoting health and longevity. Dr. Lee is a leading expert in the field of angiogenesis, the process of blood vessel formation, which is crucial for stem cell function. Additionally, he has extensively studied the health benefits of various foods, including apples, which are known for their ability to support heart health and enhance stem cell activity. With his extensive knowledge and research, Dr. Lee will provide valuable insights into how apples can support our stem cells and overall well-being. Let's listen to him tell us about what makes them special for stem cells and your overall health. What about the skin? Elagic acid found in apples benefits stem cells. Let's listen to the doctor tell us more. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. That's what that does. That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. Dr. Lee emphasizes that the skin of the apple is particularly rich in this compound, which has been linked to various health benefits, including antioxidant properties. Elagic acid helps protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. Anti-inflammatory effects, it can help reduce inflammation, which is associated with many chronic diseases. Potential cancer-fighting properties, some studies suggest that elagic acid may have anti-cancer properties. Another compound that works with our stem cells and is also found in the skin of an apple is ursulic acid, which Dr. Lee will talk about now. Apples also have in their skin something called ursulic acid. Ursulic acid uh, calls out stem cells from your bone marrow to help repair, regenerate your body from the inside out. All right. You don't get that actually from uh, uh, pure sugar. That's why an apple, a whole apple, is nutrient dense with all these other bioactives that can help your body repair itself. That's brilliant. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Now, the doctor will tell us another compound found in apples that is healthy for you. What's in an apple? It turns out that apples can be very sweet, but apples also have chlorogenic acid in their flesh. Chlorogenic acid lowers inflammation and improves your metabolism by burning down harmful visceral fat. That's a fat packed inside the tube of your body that can be very inflammatory. Apples have that. Chlorogenic acid is a polyphenol compound found in many plant-based foods, including apples. Some additional properties of chlorogenic acid are antioxidant properties. Chlorogenic acid can help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. Anti-inflammatory effects it may help reduce inflammation, which is associated with various chronic diseases. Potential blood sugar regulating effects. Some studies suggest that chlorogenic acid may help improve blood sugar control. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat. Again, good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. An apple a day might get me an A. <laughs> In addition, procyanidins and apples are a potential benefit for stem cell health. Procyanidins are a type of flavonoid found in various plant-based foods, including apples. They have been studied for their potential health benefits, such as antioxidant properties. Procyanidins can help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. Anti-inflammatory effects, they may help reduce inflammation, which is associated with various chronic diseases. 
potential cardiovascular benefits. Some studies suggest that procyonidins may have positive effects on cardiovascular health. Among the benefits of apples in the context of stem cell health, as part of his broader research on how diet impacts the body's natural ability to repair and regenerate tissues. Dr. Lee highlights that apples, particularly their skins, contain bioactive compounds like quercetin, a type of flavonoid which has been shown to support stem cell activity. Quercetin is known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which play a role in protecting stem cells from oxidative stress. This protection is crucial because oxidative stress can damage stem cells, impairing their ability to function properly. By reducing inflammation and oxidative damage, apples can help maintain the health of stem cells, which are vital for tissue repair and regeneration. Let's listen to the doctor tell us other benefits of quercetin in apples. What about prevention? What are foods that can prevent cancer? Well, it turns out that two apples a day actually can lower the rate of, uh, of lung cancer wow. and colon cancer. Why? Because there are natural substances in apples like quercetin. That's one of the natural chemicals that actually are naturally anti-angiogenic. Now the doctor will tell us why organic fruits are important and some other tips. Okay, now what about organic? I will tell you getting organic fruits, even though they're a little bit more expensive, are going to be better because they're going to have more of those polyphenols. Uh, and I'll explain in another video why that actually is. Uh, so some little tips. Uh, oh, one more tip I want to give you. When you get fruit and you take it home, you want to actually wash it. All right, because guess what? The fruit might have been on the ground, touching other fruits. You don't know what's on it. And how do you actually wash a, a fruit properly? Take that fruit and put it under running cold water for 60 seconds. Got a lot of them? Put them in a, uh, put them in a, uh, a colander, or if you want to put them into a bowl and just let running water go in there and, and just keep the water uh, flowing so you can actually uh, get, get the fruits rinsed off. 60 seconds cold running water, best way to wash off uh, the fruit. Uh, sometimes it's impossible to wash the pesticides off the skin of a fruit, so organic is always gonna be better, less pesticides, more bioactives. These are just some tips of actually how to get the most out of whole fruits that are better than processed sugar. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> now here's some apple-based stem cell boosters recipes. These are delicious and nutritious recipes featuring apples that align with Dr. Lee's stem cell boosting recommendations. Apples! Apple and spinach smoothie. Blend a cup of chopped apple, a handful of spinach, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and a splash of almond milk. The antioxidants in the apple and the nutrients in spinach can contribute to overall health and stem cell function. Apples, apples, more apples. Apple and cinnamon oatmeal. Cook oatmeal with a chopped apple, a sprinkle of cinnamon, and a drizzle of honey. The combination of fiber, antioxidants, and anti-inflammatory properties can support stem cell health. How many varieties of apples do you think there are? Apple and ginger salad, toss cubed apple, grated ginger, and a handful of walnuts in a light dressing made from apple cider vinegar and honey. The antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties in apple and ginger can benefit overall well-being. Apple cores! Apple cores! Apple and carrot soup. Blend cooked apples, carrots, vegetable broth, and a pinch of turmeric. This creamy soup is packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that can support stem cell function. Apple, apple, apple. Apple and walnut salad, toss chopped apple, walnuts, and a handful of arugula in a dressing made from olive oil and lemon juice. The antioxidants in apples and walnuts can contribute to cellular health. Next, watch the Dr. William Lee Club playlist for more information on the Nutritarian diet. Thanks for watching Longevity Deprocessed. Hit like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on evidence-based longevity tips. Share your thoughts in the comments, your journey matters. Remember, small daily habits create big changes. Until next time, keep deprocessing for a healthier, longer future. Let's make this journey together.